You were called out for a 65-year-old male complaining of chest pain. Upon arrival at Alcon Mall, you find the patient sitting on a bench, leaning forward, and clutching his chest. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is BSI. Is my scene safe? Scene is safe. Okay. My nature of illness is chest pain. Um, is this my only patient? Only patient. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and call ALS assistance. I'm also going to um, consider C-spine. Sir, did you slip strip for fall today? I have not. Okay, so I'm going to rule out C-spine at this time. Um, my general impression of this patient is poor. He's sitting forward, clutching his chest. And uh, I'm going to get my LOC. Sir, what's your name? My name is Ryan. Ryan. Okay, Ryan, do you know where you're at? Yeah, I'm at the mall. At the mall. Do you know about what time of day it is? About 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Okay, and uh, why did you call me out here today? My chest is really hurting. Okay. All right, so chief complaint is chest pain. Um, I'm going to go into my ABCs. His airway is clear because he's talking to me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some lung sounds. Can you go ahead and lean forward for me? I'm going to listen to your lungs. Go ahead and take a deep breath. And again. Lung sounds are CEV. CEV. Okay. All right, and this time I'm going to get my respiratory rate rhythm and quality as well as pulse. Get your pulse, sir. My respiratory rate was 12 normal and regular, and pulse was um, 68. Okay, so respirations are going to be 26 regular and shallow, and your pulse is going to be 128 irregular and weak. Okay, can I also get a pulse ox? Uh, 94%. 94%. All right, based on those, I'm going to go ahead and put Ryan on a non rebreather, 15 liters per minute. I'm also going to have my... Uh, EMT partner, coach him down to a normal rate of 12 per minute, also watching for adequate chest rise and fall. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and get a skin CTC. He's uh, pink, warm, and dry. Pale, cool, and clammy. Pale, cool, and clammy. All right, well, I'm also going to go ahead and get a blood pressure. While I'm doing this, I'm going to ask my patient if he is bleeding anywhere. Are you bleeding anywhere, Ryan? Mm -hmm. All right, so there's no major bleeds to control? <coughs> no major bleeds. Blood pressure was 122 over 68. 110 over 70. 110 over 70. All right. So based on these uh, vital signs, I believe Ryan is a prior to transport. We're going to go ahead and let him go. And I'm going to move into my sample history. Ryan, what were you doing when this all started? Just walking around the mall. All right. Um, does anything make this better or worse? The oxygen's helped a little bit. Um, can you describe the pain for me? It's like a crushing sensation. All right, crush. And does this radiate anywhere else in your body? My left arm is starting to hurt. Okay. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being no pain at all, 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt, can you rate this for me? It's an 8 or a 9. 8 or a 9. All right. And is this constant or is it come and go? No, it's been constant. Alright, Ryan, are 
Are you allergic to anything? I'm allergic to codeine. Codeine? All right. Are you uh, taking any medications? I take nitroglycerin. Nitro. Do you have that with you? I do. All right. Thank you. Um, do you have any passport medical history I need to be aware of? I had a bypass three years ago, and I've had angina pain for five years. All right. What was the last thing you had to eat or drink? I lunch about 11.30 this morning. Okay. And again, you were just walking around the wall when, or the mall when this started? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do a focus physical for my secondary. I'm going to expose his chest, checking for trauma and DCAP BTLS. Okay, your chest is clear. Okay. I'm also going to get another set of vitals. Um, can I get his lung sounds? Lung sounds are going to be the same. CEB. Um, what is my respiratory rate now? Um, we shall give you 22 millimeter. Okay. Pulse ox? Pulse ox will give you 99. 99. Pulse? Pulse will we'll go ahead and give you the same. 128. Blood pressure was 110 over 70? Yes, sir. And skin CTC is still pale, cool, and climbing? Yes. Okay. Okay, I would also check the neck for JVD or tracheal deviation. He has tracheal deviation. Okay. And then also rechecking the airway, making sure the airway is clear. Airway is clear. Okay. So um, based on these signs and symptoms and his past current medical history, I feel that Ryan is having issues with his angina pain. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give him, based on my staying orders with Pima Community College, one dose of his nitrostat. Um, based on his six right, the six rights, I've got the right medication, right patient, right dose, right route, the right expiration, and I'm going to go ahead and document when I give him this. So Ryan, can you go ahead and take one of those for me? Okay. So I'm going to wait five minutes after he takes this and go ahead and reassess his vitals. May I get his lung sounds? One sound C E B. Okay. Respiratory rate, rhythm, and quality. Twenty-two normal, regular. Uh, pulse socks. Pulse socks. We will give you one hundred percent. Pulse. One thirty weak and irregular. Blood pressure. Eighty-four over sixty. Right. And the skin C T C. Pale, warm, and dry. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and reassess these every five minutes because he is still in, unstable. Um, and now I'm going to give my verbal report to the, the nurse. This is Ryan. Um, he was CAO times four upon arrival. His airway was clear, complaining of chest pain. Lung sounds were CEB. Respiratory rate and quality was 26, regular and shallow. Pulse ox was at 94%. Pulse was 128, irregular and weak. Blood pressure was 110 over 70. Skin CTC was pale, cool, and clammy. He was not bleeding anywhere. Um, on set, he was just walking around the mall when this started. Uh, the oxygen started helping once I administered that. He described this as crushing chest pain, and it was radiating to his left arm. He described this as an eight or a nine on the pain scale, and he said it was constant. He's allergic to codeine. He takes nitroglycerin. He also had a bypass surgery um, three years ago, and a giant pain for about five. He, uh, last thing he had for, he had lunch around 11:30. He was walking around the mall when this started. I administered one dose of his nitro, and um, his vital signs became uh, this. Lung sounds were CEB. Respiratory rate, rhythm, and quality were 22, normal and regular. Pulse ox went up to 100 percent. Pulse went to 130, weak and regular. Blood pressure was 84 over 60. Skin CTC went to pale, warm, and dry. And at this time, I'm done with my exam. Is there anything you want to add or change at this time? BSI, if I did not say so at the beginning. 